Now this video is going to be how to install security camera. So this I bought an IP internet protocol security camera from Newegg. So these are the boxes that came in. I just received them today by FedEx, I guess, UPS. I don't know. But anyway, I'll open the box and show you what I got. Okay, this is strange. I received the camera itself in a small box. I received the PoE injector and splitter in the big box with a lot of packing. So anyway, I'll open up and show you what I got. But anyway, when I bought the uh, the security camera, I downloaded. I had planned on using uh, power for an input using AC current with a transformer, I'm assuming, and a uh, Ethernet cable. I was going to run those through the attic in the garage over down to my basement to my um, a, to Ethernet switch to connect it to my uh, network. But anyway, I got to reading the uh, paperwork that says, well, I have to buy a power ad uh, adapter, which was quite expensive. I guess it's a proprietary adapter to use that stupid thing. So anyway, um, got to read further and it says you have to have a or you could use an alternate a poe i say what the heck is a poe poe a poe the only poe i know is edgar allen poe but anyway i got to read poe poe power over ethernet oh i'd read something about that before but i've never dealt with it so anyway this is a power over Ethernet adapter, so injector. So uh, I'll open it up and I'll continue the showing you. Okay, so this is what the PoE adapter looks like. Hmm, PoE injector. Actually, it's quite large. So looking at the description on the web, it looked like it was going to be a little bitty dinky thing. So anyway, the uh, the uh, power plugs in here obviously and your ethernet cable from your camera goes in here and ethernet cable going to your uh, uh, switch or router goes here so that's how it works and here's the cable that came with it so that's all there is to it so there is the uh, camera it's not too big at all so I'll show you where I'm going to be mounting it in the first. I will be mounting that camera somewhere in this facility here. Okay, now the purpose is I will be aiming it this way and it will be catching the front of the house up to this way. Now the purpose of it is to uh, make sure that my teenage granddaughters are not sneaking out of bedroom windows. When my oldest daughter was probably, who is now 38 years old, was in her young teenage years, she got caught sneaking out the window. So this time I got smart and I'm going to put a camera. And secondary, I want to been wanting to put one up for quite a long time however I can never find a reason to put one up other than the fact that I just wanted to do it it's just for the practice so anyway I'll be putting it up here and I'm gonna drill the wall uh, hole through the wall to go inside the garage okay now when I drill the hole outside to run my ethernet cable when I drill it it will be above the uh, ceiling so I will have to cut a hole just large enough to get my drill bit in there to drill up through so I can uh, run the wire through. And I will bring it through the ceiling over to this end. Now I have a manhole cover, or a, not a manhole cover, but I have a cover to get up in the ceiling over there. And what I will do, I will have my, since I was a journeyman electrician in my younger days, I will have my granddaughter 
be my apprentice. So she's going to get up in the attic of the garage, drag that Ethernet cable over to here, and then go through the wall into the kitchen. So while she's using that access to the ceiling, and she will drill a hole into the wall going through the other side. All, everything will be in the ceiling. So, Okay, the hole that she will drill through the stud that's going to come down into this closet and I will drill a, uh, I will drill a hole, not a drill hole, but I will cut an access hole here large enough to get my uh, uh, hand in there to pull that uh, cable down that she's drilled through and how so I will take it and drill it through there okay here it is oh I opened it up it's an indoor outdoor 4 megapixel PoE dome and a day and nighttime network camera again I did not know what a PoE was uh, power over Ethernet so anyway that's it so here it is okay open it up it comes in this box here inside this box so it comes with a uh, CD, I don't know what the heck a CD is for. And it's got it looks like a manual, a substantial looking manual. Hmm, maybe we ought to look at it. Normally we don't we don't do manuals. If all else fails, then we read the manual. Trend that. Especially maybe that's why we can't read them because they're upside down. But anyway, some more articles, whatever. Now there's two things that I, it comes with its own software. But I've got an older NAS, a Synology NAS, and it's got a built-in uh, uh, app for um, uh, cams. So anyway, I'll probably be use, uh, using Synology, but I may try this one too. But uh, I bought it to use with the <coughs> Synology NAS. So this is all the stuff you get. Hmm. No idea. No idea. Hmm. Uh, hold on, and I'll, I'll get it out. Okay, I got the lid open. Now here's the adapter. Now this is the little one that uses the Ethernet, plus the power comes in over the Ethernet to power that doggone camera. Now this was the one where you use the uh, adapter, the AC adapter, which converts it to 12 volts DC. But anyway, I think it was a proprietary adapter and quite expensive, so it was cheaper just to buy the uh, PoE. So that's what it is. So they got it all covered up like a mask. So I don't know why they got it covered, but I'll open it up and find out. Well, they got more covering over it. That's the bottom of it. All right, I guess I'll have to open it up, see how to install it, how I want to mount it. So after I get it opened up, I'll take it outside and see how I'm going to install it. Okay, I bit the bullet and opened up the manual and started reading it. Now the first thing it says, do not install or mount the IP camera until after you complete the installation steps below. Insert the CD-ROM into your computer, select the language from the drive, blah, 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 and then start, click install camera. So in other words, we have to set it up here on the floor and see what it works. Now, here's a 100 foot of Ethernet cable, CAT6, that I had installed Oh, a couple, three years ago, maybe four years ago. But anyway, uh, I thought it was bad because uh, I had a uh, one of those Android boxes that kept uh, dropping the uh, Ethernet connection. So I thought, well, it's got to be bad cable. In reality, it turns out, uh, so I bought new cable, ran new cable, took this one out. In reality, it turned out to be the box uh, had a bad firmware. But anyway, I think this is good cable. I've got another tester uh, coming, but it has not come yet. So anyway, I will probably be using this cable. So I will go ahead and uh, connect everything up and see what it does. OK, 
Okay, that is where I mounted. I drilled a hole. I think it's about a one and a quarter inch hole in the center for the cable. So that's the template they give you with the uh, camera. Okay, so I cut through there. And I made a four inch by 12 inch cut in the ceiling, or excuse me, in the wall going near the ceiling. And that's where I brought my wire down to. Now, the wire is going to go up through. The ceiling's already been pulled. Coming through the manhole cover. Drop down through there. I'll cut another hole here, 12 by 4 inch, and down the bottom. And that will get me into the basement. So, this is the little tool I use. It's a little, uh, um, drywall saw, handy little saw, that little sucker right there. Now what I do, I save the piece that I cut out, that's the one I cut out, and the lines, I'll put a, a board, probably a paint, paint stick, across here, and across here, or maybe just one or two, and screw it to the board. Then what I'll do, I'll put that back in the hole, Put some joint compound around it, put it back in the hole, then screw the, uh, the little paint sticks that I got attached to here to the side of the wall. Okay, as you can see, I got the uh, cable through the hole in the top. So now I will show you what I made. Now I took the uh, that uh, saws for drywall. Cut that square out so I can get my drill in there. Now all I did was take a couple of paint sticks, drill some holes, clearance holes for the drywall screws there. Now what I'll do is put joint compound all the way around here and take it and put it in that hole up there and screw it into the side. And when it dries, you won't even, there'll be a little line, you won't even know that it came out. And there it is mounted. So, not powered up yet. Okay, again, we brought it across the ceiling. My granddaughter did that. That's my uh, apprentice. I was a journeyman electrician, an uh, industrial electrician for many years, before I retired many years ago. But anyway, it comes through the ceiling, down through there, down through the wall. Had to cut another one. And uh, that goes into the basement. And I run the basement over to uh, my Ethernet switch. And here is the one for the top. So, and here is the one for the bottom hole. So I'm all set. All I got to do is put the joint compound, put them up there, screw them in, and I'm done. Okay, as soon as it's dry, I will pull that stick off and take a little uh, damp sponge and wipe the uh, joint compound off and you'll only see a little white line. That was done. That was done. And here it is on my desktop computer. So that's it. And you may say, well, why is it not pointing down your driveway? Because this is what I wanted to view right here. This, uh, and I have my reasons, but this is what I need right here, and it's working perfectly. I will drop it down a little bit because it's too high, so I will adjust it and bring it down. That's it. We did it.